Hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and this right here is Wipeout. Well, I'm lying a little bit. This here is actually Wipeout Phantom Edition, which is described as an enhanced PC source port of the original Wipeout. It uses game data from the PlayStation version and is much more comparable to the PlayStation version than the official PC port. Now, it looks great, it plays well, and I've been having a lot of fun with it. And like I said in a previous video, many people have been asking what version of Wipeout this is, what version am I playing? How can I get this? And I'm going to show you that. Tangly, I actually already did. I did a previous video showing how you can set it up on PC on Windows, but the Steam Deck here is a fantastic and one of the best handhelds, or I guess portable handheld PCs out there, and it is pretty easy to set it up on the Steam Deck. So I'm going to be showing you all how to do the same thing on the Steam Deck. The beautiful thing about the Steam Deck as well too, which I always seem to forget, is that it is a computer at the heart of it, so the nice thing is we'll actually be able to do everything on the Steam Deck as long as you have the accessible peripherals that we would need to get started here. In order to do all this, you're of course going to need your Steam Deck, you're also going to need a copy of Wipeout, the actual original PlayStation 1 version, because we are going to be backing it up from disc. That's what I'm going to be covering here. For that, it would also be recommended to make sure you have a way to hook that up to your Steam Deck. So I'm actually going to be using a dock and I'm going to be using a keyboard, a mouse, and an external Blu-ray burner in order to get started on this. I know it sounds like a little bit overkill, but that's a cool thing about the Steam Deck. It can be as much or as little of an experience as you want to. Either way, if you are ready to play this version of Wipeout to upgrade from the old PS1 version like you're seeing right here, let's go ahead and get started on this. The first thing you're going to need to do is of course fire up your Steam Deck and you should see it here on my screen, but we do need to get this into desktop mode because most of our work is going to be in desktop mode. In order to do this, of course you can bring up the menu right here, go to power, and go to switch to desktop. Now once desktop mode is up and running, you are going to have to come over here and open up the web browser. Any web browser will work as long as you're able to get this working and connected to the internet. Now there's going to be three websites we're going to be working from and all three of them will be linked down below in the description of this video. The first thing you're going to need is the Wipeout Phantom Edition download itself. Now you can check out the GitHub repository right here, and as you can see, it does cover a whole lot of nice stuff, including high resolution rendering, widescreen support, you can also play in the original 320 by 240 graphics mode, there's different changes to the collision if you want to change that as well, and of course you can check out the setup. Now I am going to tell you all right here that since I am going to be using my disk and back this up from disk here, there's two ways of setting this up. The first way is going to be the disk image method, which I'm going to be honest here, I have not been able to back up my disk to a multi-track format such as this, so we're going to be doing the loose file method. It's a little bit more annoying, but it's still easy enough to do, and I'll show you what you can do for the music as well too. There's going to be a separate step for that. So what you can do is come over to the GitHub page, go over to the releases section, and once this loads up, you're going to download the latest build of Wipeout Phantom Edition. It should be a Wipeout x64 release.zip file. Just download this and save it somewhere you can easily find it. The next thing we should do is go ahead and download some nice cover art for this, because I am going to show you how you can add this into your Steam library, so it will be a non-Steam game, but it's going to look nice among the rest of your library. You can go to Steam Grid DB, and from here you can just look up Wipeout Phantom Edition or whatever is going to work on here. It might be something like this, and as you can see here, the community has already done a great job making a few pieces of cover art, which are pretty nice for this. So I already see two that I'm going to be using. The one that I'm going to use here for my actual, I guess, cover, you can say, is going to be this, in which you can just download this and save it somewhere. Again, you can easily find it. Let's see, I'm also seeing two others, so I'm going to grab this one right here, which I guess I can just click on the download right here. There we go, we got this. And the last one I'm going to download is this cover right here, which again, I'll just go ahead and give this a download. Just right click and save it. And finally, this step here, this installation is going to be optional, but if you do care about the original soundtrack and being able to rip it and play it on your game, you are going to need something to be able to rip the audio from disc. For this, I'm going to be using Asunder, which you might have your own favorite variant of CD ripping software for Linux. You probably didn't think you were going to be installing this on the Steam Deck, but either way, Asunder is what I'm going to be using here. In order to install this, you could install the Flatpak, but I just prefer to do the manual installation, which you can click here. 
and then you can just copy this command out right here. Now that we have all of our downloads completed, let's first get the asunder install out of the way, since we have that copied over if you so choose to install this. What you need to do is go down here, go into system and open up the console or terminal. Next, you just need to paste this in by right clicking and pasting and then hit the enter key. Now I've personally already installed this, but if you have not installed it, it's going to ask you to install the dependencies in which you can just say yes and you can continue on with the installation. Once that's been installed and as you can see, mine is already installed, we can close out of the console and if you come back over here, you should be able to see in all applications, you have the Asunder CD Ripper. Just keep that on hand for now. However, let's go ahead and get Wipeout set up here. We can go ahead and grab our zip file in which we're going to right click this and we can extract it out and it hit extract archive here. Now you are going to need to decide where you want to put your game and you can also rename it if you want to. I'm actually going to go ahead, right click and rename this to Wipeout Phantom Edition. And what I'm going to do is this is really the only non Steam game I have aside from my emulated ones and such on here, but I'm going to right click, cut, go into the games directory I've created, and I'm going to paste it in here. And there we go. So that's there. Now I'm also going to take my images because why not? And I'll go ahead and drop them into that same folder. With that, we can also get rid of the wipeout archive. So I'm going to, well, wipe that out. Now, once you're in here, you can open this up. And as you can see, this is how it should look. We are going to need this executable for later, but this here is the build of wipeout phantom edition. Although unfortunately we cannot do anything with this yet. So I'm going to show you all how to actually bring the data files over. At this point, you are going to want to hook up an external CD or DVD DVD or Blu-ray drive to your Steam Deck and then pop in your physical copy of Wipeout. It should be able to pop up something like disks and devices such as this, and if you see the optical disk showing up right here, click on mount and open. We can go ahead and bring this down, and once we scroll down here, once it pops up this window right here, you should see these are the actual files for Wipeout and of course the folder. All you need to do is highlight all of these, right click, copy them out, now navigate to your Wipeout Phantom Edition folder open it up, go into the wipeout game directory, right click and paste. You should now see it's going to start copying 517 files and that's going to be the entire makeup of the game itself. So just give it a few minutes to copy everything over. Thankfully it doesn't take up too much space, it's less than 50 megabytes or so. Now at the end you might run into this issue right here in which it's not able to read this one file and that is okay, we can just go ahead and hit cancel right there, but the rest of the files have been copied over. So now at this point if we back out here, the game has been set up and it is technically playable. Although the next step here is going to be music because unfortunately if we try and play it as is the music itself is not going to play So you do have a couple options One of them is you can import your own music in which you can go into the music folder Check out the music goes here .txt file and it does bring this up right here Explaining the three file formats that work such as mp3 OGG and wave as well as how they are supposed to be set up you can have up to 32 tracks tracks in this folder and they do each need to be numbered so as long as they are numbered like that it should be okay the good news is you can still bring over your own custom music even if you bring in the original soundtrack but if you're interested in retaining the original soundtrack let's go ahead and get that ripped for this we can exit out of here we can close out of the wipeout disc itself so now we can go ahead and minimize this come over here and we're going to open up asunder asunder will look like this and the cool thing is it even goes out and is able to populate the actual metadata of the tracks themselves which is fantastic to see however we do need to tweak this slightly we just need to come over to preferences go over to encode and it would be recommended to rip this to wave uncompressed. Once wave has been selected here, come over to general and for the destination folder, we are going to change this here. We can click this, go down to other and for this navigate over to where you are setting up your game. So I'm going to go into desktop games, wipe out phantom edition and you have to rip this into the music directory. Once you're in the music directory, click on open. And now with that set, we can click on OK. You will not be able to rip track one because that is data, but that is the actual data that we copied out. But we need tracks two through nine. Once this is all set up and ready to go, we can click on rip. Now give it a few moments here. There's not much else to it. You should hear the CD drive spinning up and now you can kind of just sit back, relax, wait for this to finish and realize that you are ripping a CD on a Steam Deck in 2024 or beyond. 
that's pretty cool, at least in my opinion. But all you really have to do is just wait at this point. And here we go. Thankfully, it didn't take all too long, but once it's done, it should tell you eight files created successfully, which we can now click on close, and we can now close out of Asunder. We can now open Dolphin back up, come down here, and we can eject Wipeout, because at this point, we no longer need the disk. Go ahead and feel free to keep that somewhere safe. However, you can see the soundtrack created its own folder. So for this, go into the folder here. We do not need the M3U file, so we can go ahead and delete that but we do need the wave files that we just ripped over so you can right click all of these go ahead cut them out we're going to go back up one directory to the main music directory and paste them all in here we can also now delete the blank directory itself so it should look something like this with all that done close out of here i'm going to close out of my download go back here and if you check this out this is now complete so we do have the game with its original soundtrack ripped over and ready to play now in order to get this all set up, we have to scroll down and you need to look for the Wipeout Executable. Right click Wipeout EXE and click on Add to Steam so we can actually get it into our Steam library. Now that this has been added, you're going to want to open up Steam, but don't open it up in big picture mode. You're going to open it up right here within desktop mode. Go over to your library and we're now going to look up Wipeout, which you should see the Wipeout executable right here. Let's go ahead and click on this and tweak it a little bit. So we can click on Manage and let's change the properties here. You can call this whatever you want to, but I'm personally going to call mine Wipeout Phantom Edition and you can also make it look a little bit nicer. For example, the icon here, I do have one already picked out. So I'm going to click on this, go over to my desktop, I'm going to go into Games, Wipe Out Phantom Edition, and you might have to remove the filter, but I've already picked one here, which is going to be the icon. So I'm going to click on that and hit Open and it should hopefully be able to set that up there. But we can click on close with that. We can also set ourselves a custom background, so you can right click and set custom background. I did have to change the filter to all files, but I'm going to use the banner right here that I downloaded. So there we go, it looks like that. And from here, you can also set your own custom logo, which for this, I'm going to use the icon right here. So there we go, it looks something like that. We do still have to make it look a little bit prettier here, so I'm going to close out of this. From here, navigate to your library, and you're going to want to look for Wipeout, which should be in the W section. I just had to drill all the way to the bottom, but you can see Wipeout Phantom Edition right here, in which you can right click, go to Manage, and set Custom Artwork. Just like before, you can have your own cover that you've set up, so hit OK, and there you go. Now there is one more image I would like to tweak on here, but you do have to run the game one time. So in order to do that, I'm going to click on on Wipeout Phantom Edition, click play, but you're going to see it's going to launch and then stop. And that is okay. We can now go back to our library and now this time scroll all the way to the top. When you scroll all the way to the top, you should see in your recent games your Wipeout Phantom Edition. And in order to make this look a little prettier, you can right click this, go to manage and set custom artwork yet again. And from here, you can grab your own custom artwork. I'm going to go to all files. I'm going to grab the banner and hit okay. So there we go, now it looks nice in our library. With all that done, we are almost ready to play. So I'm actually going to close out of Steam within the desktop, close out of this. So go ahead, return to gaming mode and get ready to play this because within the next minute or two, we are going to get to gaming. Now that we're back here, you can see that Wipeout is sitting there in our library looking great, but there's one or two things we have to do in order to actually fire up the game. Go ahead and go into the game itself, navigate all the way to the right to the gear, and now go to your properties section. And within this, for the shortcut itself, there's a couple things that you can change. One of them is going to be the game resolution. By default, it is going to be set to, well, default. But if you want to change this to a specific resolution, such as for me here, I'm playing this on an external monitor, and I'm going to be playing this in 1080p, so I'm going to change this manually to 1920 by 1080 p It's going to be up to you on that. The next thing is going to be compatibility, in which we need to come down to the compatibility section and enable force the use of a specific Steam Play compatibility tool. Once this comes up, scroll down here, and the one we have to pick is Proton Experimental. Once those two options have been changed, we can now exit, and we are now ready to finally play Phantom Edition. So without further ado, hook up your controller if you're using an external one, or use the deck itself, and, well, play. 
It's now going to go through the process, if you've never run this before, of downloading Proton Experimental and setting it up. It might just take a few moments here, but as you can see, after a few moments, you should be able to get to the wipeout screen itself. Now, I am going to warn you all, if you get really excited and you just jump immediately into the game, you might be disappointed by how it looks here, but we do need to make a few little tweaks. So we just need to go into the options section, and first of all, we can go to the game config. For the collision mode, this is going to be completely up to you. You do have the modern one, which they state is comparable to Ballistic NG. You have Classic, which is comparable to Wipeout XL or 2097, and you have Legacy, which is, well, just described as a tombstone emoji. I'm going to personally keep it to modern. The screen shake, you can change to whatever you want to, and then the game progress, you can either reset or unlock more, whatever you want to do. I'm going to exit out of here. For the controller configuration, you can change the gamepad controls to whatever you want. I personally think the default ones are fantastic. And for the graphics config, here you can change this to desktop full screen, exclusive full screen, or window mode. By default, it would be best to keep it to desktop full screen on here. The resolution should be dynamic. If you change it to fixed, it is going to look crunchy and old like the original PlayStation game, but if we change it to dynamic, it's going to look beautiful. You can actually see the difference right here in the ship as I change it. For text filtering, you can keep that on, V-Sync is fine, and the aspect ratio, you can change this to what you want to on here, but since the Steam Deck is 16 by 10, I'm going to keep it to auto. You can now go down to apply, and that should be it. If you want to change the audio config, you're more than welcome to do so, but again, I find the defaults to be just fine. Now we can go ahead and exit out of here, and at this point, well, we're ready to start our game. So go ahead, pick everything, get into your first race, and as you can see, check this out. This here is Wipeout Phantom Edition, running on the Steam Deck beautifully, I might add. It looks great, it plays really well, and I will say this has gotten me to put some more time on this just because, well, it's nice to have it on the comfy Steam Deck. So go ahead, have some fun, play it to your heart's content, and let me know what you think of this, not only the game, but also the video itself. If you enjoyed this video, a like would absolutely be appreciated. If you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well too. But as I always say, this is Mr. Mario, signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone. Now, if you all excuse me, I do have to fire up my Steam Deck a little more to play a little more Wipeout. Seriously, I've really been enjoying this version of it.